Hi everyone, it's uh, Jill Lancet, Independent Stamp Up Demonstrator in Australia, in Greystains, New South Wales. Um, how is everybody? Um, this is a this is a card I'm going to be making with uh, my classes uh, this month, um, and it's a very simple but very effective. I made them years ago, and I just had to check and make sure you could still get these little um, toys. It's a little maze. It's got a little ball in there. And you could probably go quietly insane trying to work that out. But it's going to tie in with the card that we're making today. Now, I got these at our local $2 shop. They're just little party favours. And... Um, I couldn't tell you how how much they cost because I have had those in my stash for a long time. But I'm going to use some of the beautiful new papers out of the, what is it called? What is it called? Hang on, I'm still getting the hang of this. Masterfully made. Um, beautiful, beautiful papers. Uh, they're in the new catalogue. Uh, you can see the catalogue in my online store. Save a tree and look at it there. JillLancet.stampinup.net. And um, if you scroll down to the to the bottom of that first page, you will see. But look at the beautiful colours. This is the back side of them. Um, oh, yeah, beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. I'm not going to go through all of those. Um, I did do it already the other day, so you can possibly go back and have a look at that one. But I'm, I thought, now, this could be for female or male. So, yeah, look at these beautiful, that looks male, doesn't it? That could be male. This could be female, could be male. They both could be either or, or you could use the backs. But I chose one of these. I'm going to use this one because I wanted to use this blue maze on the front of it. So I'm going to show you what we're going to do right now. So bear with me for two seconds. The first thing I'm getting out is uh, the Memento Tuxedo Black. And just on a scrap of basic white... Here's a scrap here from one of the cards I made not so long ago. We are going to stamp and die cut this out. Now, this is from the Deckled Rectangles. I think, I think, don't get me wrong, I think it might be the smallest one. We're using the stamp from the Colour and Contour. Ha! Huh, you're absolutely amazing! It's a maze. How good is that? Um, and there is a die. There is a die in there, but I wanted to use that particular die. It's from the Deckled Rectangles dies, and I do believe it is the smallest one. So yeah, and we'll just get started on that right now because this is really a quick card. Really, I say that every time. I know, but this really is a quick card. Okay, so we'll just ink this up. It says you're absolutely amazing. I might just clean that because it feels like it feels like it might just have embossing powder on it. And it probably does. But anyway, I'm going to stamp this. I'm going to get a bit of scrap paper just to have a, a quick go at that. Now, if you are watching this, before the 1st of June, or indeed on the 1st of June, that is the host code for this month. It will expire at the end of uh, the business day on the 1st of June this year. And look at that, that looks really nice. Okay, so we'll stamp that. Got a bit of music playing here because I really feel a little bit more connected when I've got some music playing. And this is the wobbly desk. Sorry about that. 
So we'll stamp that down here. Straight down. Give that a bit of pressure. Not a lot, but you want to hold that for a minute or two so that that ink connects. Now, if this turns out rubbish, you just turn this bit of paper over and do it again. Oh, and it did turn out rubbish. What's going on there? Something stuck on the stamp. Hang on. Look right there. Let's get that out of there. Don't know what that is. Something must have been stuck on the ink pad. Let's have another go, shall we? So we'll turn that around. Nobody will know. Nobody will know that that's there. Okay, I think that looks a bit better. Let's have let's have another go at it. I've still got heaps of room if I wreck this one too. So again, straight down, hold that for a second, a little bit of pressure just to make sure that ink connects with the paper. Look, I'm going with that because I haven't got time to do it again. Okay, so we're going to um, cut this out. You'll see how this fits really nicely there. And we need, we need Bertha. So I have Bertha here. Bertha is my little um, stamp and cut and emboss machine. It opens like this. It's got these two little doors. You, everything you need comes with it. And I usually just use a tiny bit of removable um, sticky tape. Now that's a bit too big, so we're going to cut that. Let's just chop that off there. I'm going to line this up. Now this is a handmade card, so that little bit of extra ink there, I'm not going to worry about it. Looks a bit straight to me. Looks pretty good. And I'm just going to hold that in place with my tape. So I'm going to pop that in there. Move my cup of tea before I end up wearing it. Because that's what happens around here. And look, it's very easy to crank. It's quite light. And it does make those noises, so don't worry about it. Now look, that's how light it is. I can pick it up with one finger. And it closes up. And it doesn't take up too much room on my shelf. So this is always close by. I do have a big one that's over the other side of the room. So if I need anything bigger than, than that, I'll use that one. And there you go. Another scrap to use for another day and pop that out. Oh, look at that. Isn't that lovely? I love these deckled rectangles. It just makes it something different. And, and it kind of goes in with this torn, this torn paper design, the edges. So how, how really good is that? Okay, so um, what were we going to stamp on the inside? Um, what about... Thank you for everything. How's that? I need that. Oh, it's not there, so I can't stamp that. don't know what I've done with that. Ah, let's see. So very happy for you. No. I don't know what I've done with that. What about from another stamp set, this one that says smile? This is from, this is from the circle sayings. The circle sayings, here we go. This is a, a, a new set, smile. Because I think they'll be smiling when they're playing with this amazing maze. So let's get that stamped inside. We'll clean that off. And go again. Now, this is stained. That's all that's wrong with that stamp. I must have used some stays on, or on it at some point. And so we'll just use Smile. Give that a bit of a clean as well. 
And I'll do it in the black as well, the tuxedo black, memento tuxedo black. Now, I reckon that they will be smiling if they're going to sit there and play with that. <laughs> if nothing else, it might bring back childhood memories, depending on how old they are. <laughs> so we'll have another go. We'll have another test run. See how this goes. That looks pretty good. Beautiful. So when you're putting when you're putting messages in your cart, you can put them anywhere. But normally you would put them around about here. You write the name and then you've got a bit of space to actually jot down a little note. So let's do this. I'm gonna stand up because yeah, the camera's in a really awkward spot. So I'm just gonna stamp that. Hope it's straight. bit of pressure and there we go smile so you can say anything this could be any for any occasion now this card so we'll just pop that over there give this a bit of a clean and get rid of it and we'll put this thing together so let's give this a bit of a this is just a, a standard card front. It's A4, cut in half. So you get two out of each A4 sheet. And then it's scored at 10.5. This measurement actually ends up being 14.85. So, yeah. So there you go. So we've got that ready to go. And it's very, very quick. Very, very quick to put together. So we're going to just glue the front of the card on. Now, if you're wondering about my little glue holders, um, I just did a video on that. So you might need to go back through my YouTube channel to see if you can find that. And I think we might put the red up the top. What do you think? Yep. So a little border, very little border. And I got six of these card fronts from that 12 by 12 sheet, okay? So they were f they were 10.2, but you can trim them to any size you want. 10.2 each, each width and then 14.3. So you could trim it down a little bit further, maybe just make it 10 centimetres on the side. Now... The maze is going to have to go up onto stamp and dimensionals because there's a bit of a there's a bit of a um, what 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 would you call that discrepancy in the plastic edge to the cardboard, so you're not going to be able to stick it on otherwise. So a few stamp and dimensionals. I'm just using the big ones, so I reckon five. So one in each compass point and one in the middle now I still can't find my take your pick tool which goes missing about on an average of about once a week so I'm sorry you're going to have to watch me peel all of these off doesn't matter as long as we get the job done okay so now look it's got this made in China so being the pedantic person that I am, I'm, I have to have that at the bottom. And I'm, I'm holding it up. So I'm holding it above the card. I'm just checking to see where I want to put this. And, yeah, just centre that up. And there we go. Look at that. They're going to have loads of fun with that now this um i'm also going to pop this up on stamp and dimensionals so yep i reckon one there one there one there and then i think i'll use an edge piece because yeah that's a stamp and dimensional too and you don't want to waste that so there you go. Look at that. Fantastic. 
Now, before we stick that on, I just was going to use some... Now, this is how much of a pedantic person I am. That little ball in there is silver. So I'm going to put some silver. And it's called the Simply Elegant Trim. And you get the silver and the gold. Um, so I'm just going to put some of the silver on there. Look, I didn't have... <laughs> I, I didn't know what else to use. So we'll just... We'll just do something with this. What will we do? We might just take these off here. Look, this is a very quick, 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 quick card. And before we lay that down, we'll just put this, just wind this around, I think. What do you think? Just pop it behind it. And there we go. Look at that. Decision made. Decision made. Cut this off. Just pop that down round about there. Does it get any quicker than that? Oops, look. I just want to trim that off and I can't. There we go. Ta-da. And they will have hours of fun trying to get that silly little I can't even get it past that outside edge oh there we go there we go look hours of fun and games so beautiful you're absolutely amazing because that's a maze and then smile on the inside thank you so much 17 minutes and we did a card brilliant thanks for your uh time this today and don't forget if you need any any information there's my email address you can go to my online store uh, if you see anything here you want to order with the exception of those mazes because you can order them online i believe and, or just look at your local your local two dollar shop i'm sure they have them in the party section that may host code uh expires on the 1st of June. So I think that's all the business out of the way and a really quick and fun card. So have a great week and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.